I don't know how well this is gonna go. I just got the phone call that I'm supposed to unload a 104 inch lawnmower out of the back of a semi truck. And that's all I got to use. It kind of feels like bringing a knife to a gunfight. See how this goes. So it's kind of unexpected. Uh, I knew I was going to be testing some new Hustler mowers, but I just got this weird phone call. Hey, we're bringing them down the street. How you doing, Chris? How's it going? By this guy. You must be Chris, right? The guy I've been talking to all day. Nice to meet you. So there they are, huh? Yep. Oot, shoot. All right, well. Let's go I see. I can't see the end YouTube already. Oh, have you? So we gotta somehow get these drug from here. Now, if I center these forks, I should be able to hopefully, I think the best thing we can, holy crap. I don't know about that other one. Wait, this one's, these are ours right here? Yep, these two. So the, Oh, right through the center? Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. Yeah, I was gonna try to wrap it around a couple, but hell, if you've got a good way of doing it, I'm I'm all up for... Cause these making. are actually stronger than what you think they are. Yeah, those, are, okay. I think we're gonna probably need, what, one more, yeah. So as I'm dragging it out, what I'm noticing from in the cab, it keeps wanting to slide sideways. And I don't know if it's because the semi is on a slight pitch of the road, but what I'm doing here is I'm trying to drag it away from sliding sideways and keep it centered in the middle of the load. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hook the fork around the chain just right, right there and use the fork as I'm backing up to try to get it Otherwise, I mean, it'll just go right, I mean, through the side of the semi or dent it or damage it. That's not what our goal is. So the story actually starts is they sent me these prematurely. I wasn't supposed to get them because at this point they haven't been serviced by the dealer. So the dealer has to get them first, go through all the oils, check all the bolts, check to get this whole list, right, that they have to do. Well, they accidentally brought it to me before they brought it to the dealer. Now this is the 60 inch mower and it comes off no problem. This one was kind of, and I'm glad it was first. The next one is the 104 inch mower. But this one kind of was maxing out the capabilities of the S185. But that doesn't mean I was gonna not try to get that 104 inch mower off. But luckily what I figured out is they hadn't done all that dealer prep work so I ended up not only not taking this 104 inch mower off, even though you're gonna see I'm gonna try, I ended up loading the other one back up and having Chris bring it back up to the dealer so that they could get it properly pre-inspected. So what I'm gonna do in just a moment for some of you old, older school operators, I call it the drag and drop. This was something some of you guys are probably familiar with where you get something too heavy to come off from the semi so what you got to do is you're going to see me i'm going to get it brought right back to the thing and i'm going to try to wheelie it out like i said i wasn't going to give up on this thing so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get it the machine rocking so that as i get the the mower up i use the momentum to get it up i want to carry it back because it's going to bring my machine down so hopefully i carry it back and then lower it gently like a butterfly right to the ground at least in my mind that sounds like it could work i mean why not do it with a fifteen thousand dollar body work you don't own ah maybe i could pull it off So here I'm trying to get it. Mm. 
thing is, it's not like it's a pallet block where you don't do it right and just have you block and tip off. This could go bad real fast, but I figured some of you guys would like to see me do it. I wanted to pull it off. I thought, if I could pull this off, that would be cool. But my 185 is just not big enough. Almost, I'm so close. Look at that. Now I'm just trying to get a feel for the balance. Because I may be able to just, at this point I'm also thinking, could I just pull it off just on my two wheels without doing the drag and drop? But then my guardian angel kicked in and said, don't be stupid. This isn't the right way to do this. So. Put everything back on and save it for another day. Oh, and now the video starts six minutes in. Sorry, guys. That was my unloading experience. Well, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. All right, you guys. We're gonna put a very big mower in some very bad situations today. And we're also gonna be testing a lot of the claims that Hustler makes. One of those claims is they can mow a football field with this Super 104 in under 10 minutes. We're gonna put that claim to the test today. So what are we waiting for? Let's try to get this unstuck first. That's a big mower to get stuck in a ditch. Well, before we can get the video started, we got to get the mower out of the ditch. That's always a good way to start, right? <sighs> oh, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I ran out. I ran out. That close. No. All right, what the heck? I tell you, that uh, worn wench, wench, winch. Thank you. You guys told me a wench is like a medieval something or another. A winch, though, is what I'm currently using. Boom. I think she's free. All right, well, let's go test this out on a real site. Let's see how she does, how the crews like it. I'm gonna donate, or donate. I'm gonna borrow this mower to the crew to let them take it out onto one of our biggest sites. I'm gonna let them go uh, roll with it today. Um, and then we're gonna test it out on that football field. And then we're gonna test it out in this swamp. This thing can do some amazing stuff. You guys are in for a fun ride. You really can. Let's just go. So the first thing I wanted to do was get Alex's take on it because Alex hates everything new. If it's new, he automatically doesn't like it. Real time this area right here 
And what that basically means, I'm going to use the timer on the camera to see how long it actually takes us to mold this area. So let's get started. After I get my camera. So in this area, instead of creating a pattern, really what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the contour on the back side of the homes and the straight line on the other side just to see what it takes to cover the ground. I wanted to see how long would an area this size, but then later on what we're going to do is we're going out to an actual football field because Hustler claims they can mow a football field in under 10 minutes. And we're going to put that claim to the actual stopwatch test and see how it performs. say eight minutes and 49 seconds. So watch how this goes around the trees. We're not turning very tight because it's so wide. And Alex actually brings up a really good point on that that I never thought of. We may end up, I'm, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, if I had two or three more properties like this one, no brainer, I'd be buying this more. You already did all the back parts? Yeah. Was it faster than with our other mowers? Oh yeah. Really? Probably cut it down in half the time, yeah. Then that mower? Yep. Then the 72 inch? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yep. I wonder why. 104 inches. I know, but that's not double the mower. No, but I mean, this thing cruises. And you can't really make lines with it, so you're not, you don't really have to focus on going straight and overlapping and stuff, you know, so you can kind of just zip through it a little bit. It turns really nice on the grass, too, so you kind of can come around the corners a little bit quicker, too, you know. It doesn't tear it? No. I mean, you... Going around those trees right there, if I would have done that with any other mower, it would have ripped all that grass up. Going around that tree like that, tight little circle like that, it would have ripped the grass right up. Well, it would have, would have ripped it up today, especially because it poured rain yeah, all weekend. Yeah, yeah, this is super wet grass right here. I mean, you think it's not wet? There you go. That's yeah, what we're... It's wet out here, and I just took that turn around that tree pretty quick, and it didn't even tear it up, you know? I wonder why it does so well, not tearing anything up. Because the deck sticks out so far, you're not really taking that tight corner to get the... Edge, you know, on the regular mowers, the edge of the deck's right there. So you got to tuck this tire close to that, you know, and you got to take a really tight circle with this. It's farther away, you can kind of take it a little wider and still get close to it. You know, I was mowing with this uh, on the weekend, and I noticed the same thing. But one of the things that I like that I was like, I was like, oh, this is really cool, are how the wings go up and contour up and down. Yeah, on that edge right there with the regular mower, you know, it's flat, so. It's it's kind of got a little weird ridge yeah right on the edge there so when you're coming by with the flat mower it always leaves it long on the edge you got to weed whip it with this one it contoured the edge and now i don't even have to weed whip that curb line there you know so you're talking about right you, can you guys see this ridge right right here right here yep. and oh right here and there's one right here you see how it comes down if i was coming through here with the other mower and it was flat right there you know it's above that it's not going to hit it well that mower angled down and got all of it. And now you don't have to weed, because we've weed whipped this curb, we've, I don't think we've ever not weed whipped this I curb line. weed whipped this curb line, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mowed all the areas I would have regularly mowed, it probably literally shaved it down in half the time. That's, yeah. Wow. Well, I couldn't imagine a better test. We gotta try to mow a football field in under 10 minutes. We gotta just try to do it in between raindrops, right? Hey, we just have not been getting good weather in Minnesota. Oh my God. It's just been nasty all the time. Seems like we're always fighting something up here. So it folds up nice. I mean, as you can see on a standard trailer, you flip them big side wings up. Now it will not cut like that. That's probably a question some of you guys wanted to know. That mower gets much bigger. It'll take up its own parking space. Show you how wet it is today. It's gonna be a slick one.
but we've got a football field to try to mow in under 10 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. Hustler makes this claim that they can mow a football field in under 10 minutes. We want to test that, but I realize that my results may not be quite as good as I wanted them to be because of all the rain. It doesn't allow me to really whip around. All right, let's see if we can find a spot to set up our camera. I've never actually tried to mow a football field before. So I don't know how to film mowing a football field. This could get interesting. I suppose if I can get it done in under 10 minutes, I could just set a drone up and let her go, but I don't know. What do you guys think? That's not a bad view. We set up. I think I'd like to get one of those drones right that here. follow you. I don't know if it could keep up. This thing is. All right, I don't want to screw this up. All right, I don't want to screw this up. So I want to make sure my deck is set to the right height. Set at three and a quarter. We're gonna mow at three and a quarter out here, which may not be mowing much, but that's all right. It's not about what we're mowing, it's about can we cover the ground. So I wanted to be really careful about mowing this because it's technically high school football season and they were gonna have a game later this week on this field. And the last thing I wanted to be is the guy that turns too sharp and rips everything up. The first time I do it, I, I chose the wrong pattern. I go side to side instead of the long ways down. I gotta be tripling my turns and that's what's slowing me down. And I realized that at about the halfway point. I'm like, oh man. And then my tripod drops over, which gives me the perfect excuse to start over again. Okay, that's wonderful. Now I get to start all over again. Which didn't bother me. So now I'm doing it the long way. And I have no clue why Danny the editor put dirty timer on there. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to actually mean, but this is the actual time it took to mow this field. And that's using some pretty careful three-point turns and I'm going a little bit longer than the field itself to make those turns. Trying to find a football field that's actual grass and not artificial turf was also one of the fun challenges because Seems like nobody believes in playing on a dirt field anymore. Or at least not in this neck of the woods. Down to the wire. So the white stripe is the football field, the yellow stripes are the soccer field. So I'm going by the white stripes. So just so you guys know, part of the reason why I was taking those turns so slow is because so we got standing water and the last thing I want to do is wreck this high school's football field by ripping up any turf. So I was being really careful around them corners, a lot more so than what I typically would be. I think she looks pretty good though, boys. I tell you, that looks good. Oh, the mower is a rear discharge mower, meaning it doesn't shoot it out the sides. The entire mower shoots it straight out the back of it. 
that's my first time ever using anything like that as well. And I actually kind of like that rear discharge because when I was sneaking in alongside landscapings and stuff like that back on that townhome association, it just gave me a little bit extra comfortable feeling that I didn't have to worry so much about angling my mower one way or another way and everything blew straight out the back. I mean, it's just a matter of retraining your brain to, to think along those lines. But we got more tests to go. In fact, my favorite one is coming up. All right, guys, let's see how this big bat wing behemoth starts up cold. It's like 40 degrees this morning. So it's not frosty, but it's definitely not warm. EFI, no choke, does it for you. You just turn the key. Electronic fuel injection. So let's look at what powers this thing real quick. So this does have the Hustler Hyperdrive, which is the same drive system that they use in all of their Hyperdrive ones. And that has a 3000 hour warranty on the drive system, the hydraulic drive system. And my understanding is it's way overbuilt. It's the same drive system in this one as in that one. So they've designed them for these big dogs. But this thing also has the uh, this is the Vanguard engine oil guard system. Vanguard oil guard system right there. And what that does for you guys that aren't familiar with this uh, motor system, this is a really cool system. It holds the oil externally and this housing helps to cool the oil and gives it a larger bath. But there is a certain amount of oil that's always inside the engine. So whenever you go to start it, you're not dry starting the engine. To, so that's kind of an important thing to understand. And that has EFI on it. And uh, they also offer other engine options, I believe. But I think the, the other thing that we like about it is these wings. You see this cylinder right here? This cylinder is the key to contouring. This cylinder allows this entire wing to float separately from the main mole board. So you have three components to this deck that I've noticed. This is layman's terms. You've got your main deck and then you've got your floating wing. So this is the part right here. You can see that floats right through there. This, this whole thing contours up and down. That's how that works. Let's actually demonstrate just how far it goes. They claim 15 degrees, but I think you can go more than that. So yeah, let's go do I it. definitely think you can cut more than 15. I want to show you something. I've never been able to mow this ditch. I've never been able to get a mower down in here. It's always been hand trimmed. So I was able to lay this mower right in here. In fact, I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to come in with this and demonstrate on this side. And then we're going to attempt to cut that side using the same technique. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. I don't know what's over here. Could be- Nothing good. Could be good, could bad. be bad. Doesn't look- No, it's bad. bad. But I'll lay this mower in here and we'll get it, we'll get it fluffed right You'll in see. there. You'll you see, it's, it it's not good in a minute. There's a reason why I've never cut this thing. So the 15 degrees, once you go over 15 degrees, it does shut the entire deck off. All of your blades, well, none of them will go. It has a safety lever in there, so if you go too high in there, she just kills it. So actually, this story kind of started about Three years ago, I was at the GIE and I was just looking at Hustler mowers. And I'm like, why have I not really heard about these things? Are they junky? I mean, because nobody ever seems to talk about them. So then I'm really looking at them and I'm like, this doesn't look like a bad mower. This, I mean, and 
you start to look at how they're built and put together and you're like, what's wrong with these? It just doesn't scalp either. That's for my tire right there, spinning out, because you get so comfy, you just stick that wing over and she just goes <laughs> I don't know, man. I love this more. All right, let's do this side. Let's see what this will look like on this side. I'll come in right there, and we'll see if we can cut this stuff out of here. We'll just try to cut this little whippity do out right there. Sound like a game plan, you guys? Yes, dude, that sounds like a game plan. All right, guys. I'm sure a couple of you sound like that, right? So now what I'm doing is I don't know where the edge is, but I'm trying to get that wing just to go right into that ditch and clean that up. But what I was saying about the Hustler brand earlier was I couldn't figure out what was wrong with them. I mean, why, why is nobody in social media talking about them? Why am I not hearing about them? What is wrong with these things? I've never been able to mow this. I mean, I never have. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a big piece of stupid concrete. What? Right in it. Oh, what the heck? And more concrete. All right, well, let's go over there and do it. Let's see what it can do. be a factor coming up I think you'll see my tire spins out a little bit um, and you know trying to get it on slopes it's not a slope mower. I don't know what this mower is gonna do because we got a hill there right that's my four-wheeler jump and then we got the ditch right next to it let's see what these wings do when we come across that let's hit it sideways so you'll be able to see the wing just That's what I hit earlier. I think it might be the found 
foundation, footing of a foundation, a build an old building. This used to be an old farm. You never know what you're gonna find. What kind of treasure? There's stuff buried all over out there. Not by me. So one of the things to take into consideration is it's not meant to float and it's not meant to be a hill climbing beast. What I'm saying is that mower, like right on that edge there, you can start to notice the weight a little bit. And you can actually see, whereas I'm getting close, because I'm literally letting the weight of that wing hang over that ditch, it doesn't draw you in. You just have to take account for it. And it's easy to get kind of complacent in something like that, and that's how I get. I got stuck earlier in the video, or actually, it was later than this. I do get stuck because I did exactly what I said I should do. surprised when it boils right down to it I didn't expect this big mower to do what it did I didn't expect it to be able to deliver I thought it was gonna be a big bulky mower that could cover a lot of ground and do just about nothing else so when I found out that it could contour when I found out that it could shape to the ground when I found out that you could flip the wings up and you could squeeze between narrow openings and then fold the wings down. The only thing that I would like to see that Frankie actually came up with the idea is wouldn't it be cool if when you flip the wings up, if you could just get the center deck to still mull? Because then you could really get into tighter spots with this mower. But even as is with the wings down, I kind of think you can get leverage those wings and it's almost like you're flipping those wings into the tight spaces and you're making it happen. Pretty cool beans, man. And that's all I got in this video. God bless and go get them. We'll see you on another one.